Uh, welcome guys. So this video, uh, we are talking about a functional equation. So since we have proved the functional equation, so uh, we just going to do some uh, easy uh, fact, easy corollary. The first is that zero is a half, minus one is a uh, minus one divided by twelve, minus three is a minus one divided by one hundred twenty, and the zeta uh, two n is zero for n greater than equal to one. Uh, so. Okay, so uh, before I start, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel, and I will leave all the uh, Zeta previous Zeta function video uh, list in the comments. So if you don't have not yet see the functional equation proof, or or if you don't know the how to compute the even value of Zeta function, these are all the prerequisites to watch this video. Okay, so uh, let's start. I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. So let's see. So uh, we are supposed that this is correct. Okay. And uh, we hope to prove one, two, three, four. So let's say the first one. The first one trivial, right? So let's say zeta uh two n, right? Z just equal to two n. Uh, we have a uh, two two n, also oh, negative two n. N is greater or equal to one. So uh, two two uh, negative two n pi uh, two uh, minus one. So these two are not important. The the important thing is this sign, right? So we get sign uh. Uh, negative n pi, right? So this is zero, right? But you need to prove, you need to see where these two are zero, right? So if zeta is negative two n, then you get gamma two uh, n plus one, which is uh, just a two n factorial. So this is not zero, and also this zeta function, there is no uh, no points you need to worry. So it's zeta uh, one plus two n, uh, which is some number equal to zero. So you get something non zero times finally you get zero. So the answer will be zero. Okay, and the second one that the people always uh, also like to say that zeta zero is a, a negative one half. This is a very famous result. Okay, but uh, it's hard to uh, hard to you start from a definition. I mean, if your knowledge of zeta function start from here, then you need to uh, make a very far uh, to go here. Okay, so let's see the. But now we have already have functional equations, so we have everything uh, except for Riemann hypothesis or other strange property. So let's say zero. So we just put zero. Uh, we get uh, two zero, one over pi. So now we get zero, right? So let's uh, assume that z approach to zero. So we get a pi z divided by two, because sine x approach to x as uh, x very small, and then gamma one minus zero. So you get gamma one, and the zeta one. Okay. The problem is that zeta one is a uh, is a uh, can uh, can blows up. Right? So zeta one is a has a pole. So you need we need to another knowledge that the zeta uh, s is approached to one minus s uh, s minus one when uh, s go to one. So we can change this as a uh, zeta one minus s. So just replace s to be one minus s. We'll approximate to uh, minus uh, negative one minus s as s go to zero. Right. So. This this one can actually be written as uh, one divided by pi pi z divided by two gamma one is one and the zeta one minus z as z goes to zero so it's negative z negative one divided by z okay so see carefully the answer is a half negative half okay uh, now let's talk about the third uh, zeta one is a negative one divided by uh, twelve. Uh, this one should be uh, much simpler. The reason is that let's see. So we need zeta uh, minus one will be two minus one, two to the minus one power uh, pi negative pi square uh, pi to the one over pi square one over uh, pi square and the sine right. So uh, sine negative pi divided by two, which is minus one, and the gamma two. Zeta two, so zeta two is a famous uh, pi square divided by six. Uh, you can check out my video. Uh, I have the, I have at least five ways to prove it, and there is no calculator, and there is a uh, method that there is no further series involved. Okay, so you get one over two pi square, minus one, two pi square divided by six, so it's a uh, minus one divided by two. Okay, so let's see the final, the final one, the first one. Uh, zeta minus three, which is uh, 
1 over 8 uh, times 1 over uh, pi to the fourth times uh, sine 3 pi divided by 2 right so it's uh, still minus 1 uh, times uh, gamma uh, 4 times uh, zeta 4 right and the zeta 4 is a famous uh, pi to the 4 divided by 90 and I also leave the video uh, below if you have not seen the proof but there's a proof that you don't need you also don't need a calculus uh, you so yeah you also don't need a free analysis you can still prove uh, so answer will be minus one eight pi four so gamma four is three fact three factorial so it's a uh, six times a uh, pi to four divided by ninety uh hopefully my computation is correct so let's see okay so the answer is my uh, negative minus uh, one hundred twenty. Yeah, if you want to know more that uh, you can uh, actually represent the two uh, negative two and plus one uh, in terms of the gamma two n right so you can write everything as a bernoulli number okay i also seldom people talk about bernoulli uh number in uh, youtube so i may uh, make a video okay see you guys